Consider the first example where for the LTI system we are given with input sequence x of n and impulse response h of n. x of n is 1, 2, 3, 1 where the first sample which is at origin is given for x of n whereas for impulse response the first sample is located at minus 1. We start with writing down the formula of convolution sum. Initially we calculate the starting point for the output sequence from the starting points of both input sequence and the impulse response sequence. We add the index or the starting point of input sequence with the starting point of impulse response so as to find out the starting point of the output sequence. So in the present example it is 0 plus of minus 1 so the starting point for the output will be at minus 1. Then we find out how many number of samples will be present in the output sequence by the formula as number of samples in x of n plus number of samples in h of n minus 1. For the present example, it results into 7 samples. To start with the graphical method, initially we sketch x of m and h of m. Before that, we have changed the index of the original x of n and h of n to m. So we have chosen h of m for folding operation and the folded impulse response is sketched here. Now in the first step, as we have calculated that the starting point of the output sequence will be minus 1, we obtain a shifted form of h of minus m as h of minus 1 minus m. Putting the value of n as minus 1 for y of n of equation 1 to left hand side and to right hand side putting n as minus 1 we perform the multiplication between an input sequence x of m and a shifted and folded impulse response h of minus 1 minus m for the same time index that is both signals they overlap only at m equal to 0 hence the output sample is computed as 1 into 1 that is 1. In the next step, now we change the index small n, the value of small n to 0. Thus, now we are calculating y of 0. To the right hand side of the convolution sum formula, now we have put small n at 0. So, in the formula, now we are going to multiply x of m with h of minus m which is the folded impulse response form. Again we are going to multiply these two sequences only at the overlapping points. So in this case there are only two points which are getting overlapped that is at m equal to 0 and at m equal to 1 and thus the output sample at 0 is 4. In this manner we keep on shifting the impulse response h of minus m from minus 1 up to 5 and we found respective output samples from y of minus 1 till y of 5 and hence the combined output is given as a sequence here which is plotted in this plot. 
same example we can solve using the matrix method. Now in the matrix method we arrange input sequence as the rows for this matrix and h of n as the columns of this matrix. Initially we find out the elements of this matrix which are obtained by multiplying the respective positions of rows and columns. Followed by that we partition this matrix for obtaining the diagonal elements. So after partitioning all the diagonal elements we start picking up one after another output samples. So y of minus 1 hence will be equal to 1. y of 0 is the addition of these two diagonal elements 2 plus 2. y of 1 is an addition of 3 plus 4 plus 1. y of 2 is an addition of 1 plus 6 plus 2 plus of minus 1. y of 3 is 2 plus 3 minus 2. y of 4 is 1 minus 3 and y of 5 is minus 1. So, when we arrange the output sequence, we will put an arrow for the amplitude value of output sequence which lies at origin whose value is 4.